Hey there, this is Maarten Baljau from JetBrains. In this screencast, we'll have a look at how PHP Storm integrates with Zen Server, an integrated platform for mobile and web applications. We will also look at Z-Ray, a new feature which will show us exactly what happens to construct each page in real time. Just like PHP Storm, Z-Ray helps developers write better code and detect and fix issues earlier. Let's see how they work together. Before we start, we will need a couple of things. PHP Storm, obviously, for which a trial can be downloaded from our website. We'll also need Send Server, for which a 30-day trial is also available. Another option is to run a special EC2 instance on Amazon with Zend Server pre-installed. It can be found in the AWS marketplace, but do note that pricing of the instance will include a license fee for Zend Server. Once we have Zend Server running, we can log into its administration portal to configure it, set up clustering, install PHP modules, look at events and all that. We can also deploy applications using the UI here. Let's use the Deploy Now button and quickly deploy a demo application. We'll have to give our application a name, pick the server on which we want it to run, and specify the URL path where we want it to be available. Zen Server will check all prerequisites, and once those are good, we can start deployment. The portal will bring us to the Applications list, where we can see the deployment is being created. On this server, we have our new demo application running, as well as a Drupal application, which we'll use later on during this screencast. Check Zend Server's Getting Started guide if you want more information about this portal. Now let's see if we can debug an application running on Zend Server using PHP Storm. If Zend Server and PHP Storm are on the same machine, no additional configuration is needed. When both are on separate machines, like the EC2 instance I have here, we will have to set up an SSH tunnel. I'm running on Windows here, so I can use Putty to set up a tunnel from my machine to Amazon. On Mac OS X or Linux, we'd be using the SSH command instead. Once the tunnel is up and running, we can tell PHP Storm to listen for incoming debug connections. We can also add a breakpoint where we want the debugger to pause execution, or enable the break at first line in PHP scripts option through the menu here. We can then navigate to our application using a browser. With Z-Ray enabled, Zen Server will inject a toolbar which displays a lot of information about our application's execution. We can inspect HTTP requests and responses, look at memory usage and so on. And with PHP Storm listening for debugger connections, we can also start debugging from the browser. The connection will take a few seconds to establish, but after that we can step through our code, inspect variables and all that. Next to debugging, we can also profile our application to see the execution times of various functions and explore potential performance bottlenecks in our code. With the SSH tunnel still open, we can use Z-Ray to start the profiler. We'll then jump to PHP Storm, where we can immediately explore execution timings, call trees and so on. Using the context menu or the keyboard shortcuts, we can also jump to the relevant portions of source code. Zen Server is tracking everything that's going on in our application, and we can monitor all these events as well. From the Zen Server administration dashboard, we can look into an application's events and at the details of these events. If needed, for example with a slow request execution type event, we can start debugging or profile from here as well. If the IDE is listening, it will start a debugging or profiling session and we can immediately jump in. Now let's prepare a deployment. Zend Server comes with a command line tool for creating deployment packages. We can enable it through the PHP Storm settings and then use it from the built-in command line tool console, where we will get completion on the various commands that are available. Using the command line tool, we can create a new application package, like so. This will generate a skeleton in which we can copy application contents, edit the description XML and so on. Next. We can validate the package using the validate command. When that succeeds, we can package our application using the pack command, which will generate a deployment package in the root of our project. This package can then be uploaded through the Zend server portal to deploy a new version of our application. This was just a quick overview of how Zend server, Z-Ray and PHP Storm can help us deliver quality code in a faster way. All other PHP Storm features can of course be used as well. Check our other screencasts and tutorials for more. 
Thank you for watching. Until next time.